we uh, continue to have uh, concerns about the um, material that was presented in the IG report uh, that raised legitimate and serious questions about the uh, conduct of some DEA officers. Presidential Press Secretary Josh Earnest there talking about the DEA sex party scandal. Michelle Linhart, the uh, head of the DEA, is resigning amid pressure from members of Congress. Joining us now to talk more about it, actually I should point this out before we move ahead, her departure comes after a hearing where congressmen were very, very upset. At any rate, we're going to get more on the story now from Steve Pat Peterson, a former DEA agent who is now the vice president of the National Law Enforcement Speakers Bureau. He is speaking out to us today via Skype. Uh, Steve, we always appreciate your time. Welcome back to America's Forum. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Now, Steve, the director decides to resign. Your reaction to that news? Well, I'm sorry to see that happen. The, uh, the administrator, obviously, is, uh, is, is a pretty important component of DEA. And uh, as much as we realize they come and go, I, I hate to see it happen this way amongst a scandal that is actually quite old. I, I think this is being handled totally inappropriately. But there's no statute of limitations on scandalous behavior, right, Steve? I mean, if we have, if we have a drug cartel funding the sex parties that the DEA agents attended, there's, there's no way to look past that, is there? No, there isn't. But sadly, here's the problem that we're having. We don't, you don't really have all the facts yet. See, the, here's the problem. This occurred over 10 years ago. And at the time, what people don't realize is that the Office of Inspector General, OIG, has the right of first refusal. So they have the opportunity to accept any investigation regarding this type of conduct first. They refused to do it, to accept it. So DEA did it internally. Now, I, I, will give, I will totally be honest and say it was handled completely improperly. But it was handled. Now, people were punished. There was discipline doled out, perhaps not appropriately. But most of the people in high-ranking positions down in South America at the time have since retired and gone on to fairly lucrative positions within the private sector. So how do you go back now and try to admonish the people who were involved at a lower level when this was kind of accepted by people at a higher level who were also there at the time? Uh, the general problem and what caused real consternation in the congressional hearing, Steve, was the director coming out saying, well, I really can't make changes because of the protections provided to government employees uh, uh, in, in terms of their, their union contracts, basically. So when she answered it that way, that poured gasoline on the fire. Let me ask you, especially yes. within law enforcement, should there not be a situation where there is misconduct and it's discovered you're out, not six years worth of appeals? I would absolutely agree with that, yes. And I, and I believe, sadly, I saw the hearing with Ms. Lenhart, and I, and I, I, I don't agree with, with all of her answers. I, I don't, uh, uh, I think that was handled, uh, sadly, it was, it was handled pro, uh, poorly. And, and as you can see, it resulted in gas on the fire. But I absolutely, we are held at a much higher standard than other people. And while some conduct is condoned and accepted in other countries, it's not condoned and accepted here. We have to behave by the standards that we live under here in the U.S., not what other standards and other cultures live under. And behavior on the job, do you think we need to rethink the whole notion of collective bargaining for government workers to have these kind of job protections that basically protect them even in the midst of misconduct? Final 30 seconds, Steve. Yes, I do. But sadly, DEA is not protected by that. There is no agents union. You have Border Patrol unions. You have mail carriers unions. DEA doesn't have that. Under the Merit Protection Board, it's a different system. And you can be fired. You can be brought in. So that was, that was kind of inaccurately responded to. And, and sadly, it has resulted in miscommunications, misstatement of facts, and, and ultimately the, the sad resignation of, uh, of our administrator, Ms. Lenhardt. Steve Peterson, we appreciate your perspective. As you point out, there is more to this story, and we are very appreciative of the fact that you provided it to us. Our thanks to you, sir. Coming up, Debbie Lee, second day in a row. Stay tuned.